Why, hello there, fellow chap. <laughs> I am Reginald von Bottlesby. As you can see, I am a uh, aristocrat and a very important noble person, as you can see from my fancy bow tie and uh, quite nice sports jacket here. I am in the business of making money. And let me show you, fellow entrepreneur, how to be making money. In Balloons TD6, I have an original idea, an original invention even, that will be guaranteed to make us quite a lump sum of money. We will be going ahead and using the T6 banana farm to be making lots of money. Let's do this. All right, guys, enough of that. It's time to make us some money, guys, all right? We have the new T6 banana farm, guys. We've all been waiting for it, okay? We don't need power, okay? We need more money so that we can afford all of these cool, dandy experiments, right? All of these things are really cool, but like I said, guys, we need money, okay? So first thing first, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put down a banana farm. You don't need anything else, okay? Okay, I guess we can put down a free dart monkey. Is, is that that's what we can do okay maybe maybe we'll make it so he actually fires a little bit faster no oh no that's fine we need to get increased production as quickly as possible so the way the t6 banana farm works guys is kind of the same as the other towers but instead of being based on how many pops you have it's on how much money you make so we need to get this guy to fifty thousand dollars made after we get him to fifty thousand dollars made well then that's when we start getting lots and lots of money. Here we go ahead. If we can get sharp shots, he can start pop two more balloons. Look at that. There we go. And then razor sharp shots. And then as soon as we can, we're going to want to get triple shots. So we're at 260 bananas so far. That's a lot of bananas, guys. Okay. <laughs> that's a whew. That's quite a bunch. Oh, that's a bunch of bananas. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll see myself out now. I, uh, I want to go ahead and get long life bananas. I also want to get valuable bananas, and then we can really just focus. Do we, Is greater production or valuable bananas better? Probably, I'd say greater production is a more worthwhile, like, pickup to get, or just, like, it's just better in general. I think what we might also do is go ahead and just get more, like, get a couple of banks so then we can fund our expedition. Because if we go straight and, like, straightforward, like, Banana Central, which cost $108,000, there's no way we're going to be able to afford that, right? That's going to be way, way too expensive, guys. So we're going to have to go ahead and start focusing on getting some other things. Maybe, like, two banks. So we need to go ahead and maybe we start focusing on, like, getting a bank. We, I also want to focus on making sure that we don't just like immediately lose because defense should probably be one of our number one priorities, but it's fine. I honestly should have made this into a bank first, but it's okay. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Or you know what we should do, guys, is here. Can we turn this into a bank? We actually can still turn this into a bank. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, we are going to turn both of these into banks. It's going to be a little bit weird that we're turning both of these into banks, but it's fine. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to worry about it. We're going to turn both of these into banks, and then we'll put the, the main banana farm, we'll put right here in the middle. And that's the whole plan, is once we get on there, it's going to be fine. Oh, I totally forgot that the banana farmer actually, like, fires bananas at the balloons. We don't need backup. We got banana farmers, guys, obviously. We need a monkey bank, which costs $3,500. And then with both of these, having two monkey banks, that should, uh, I guess we can start focusing from there, getting more and more banks. And then we can use the banks to fund getting our other banana farm. Guys, that's just, that's just being a smart businessman, obviously. Here, we can go ahead and get valuable bananas. Ugh, no, balloons are getting by and I don't like it. So, we're gonna have to deal with camo balloons, we're also gonna have to deal with, like, lead balloons soon. And I don't like the fact that we're going to have to deal with that. So, maybe we just go ahead and get, like, a sniper monkey. What's going to be able to deal with all of them? We could go ahead and just get, like, a wizard monkey. I think having a wizard monkey on this map is actually pretty useful. We have $1,500. Yeah, let's just go ahead. We're going to grab a wizard. So, we're going to grab a wizard. We're going to take our wizard and then fireball, intense monkey sense. And then there we go. Now he can deal with everything. And now we need wall of fire. Wall of fire! It's only $970! Come on. Oh my gosh. It's so slow. It did. Oh wait. I totally, I totally forgot. Like, hey, I can just, you know, get 
get money from our banana farm because for some reason I was just not getting money from there. Okay, we are at 1,800. We need more. We need monkey bank. Wait, how much money is that? Oh, that's $3,000. That's a lot of money. Okay, so far so good. 25 round. We're good. We don't need to worry about anything right now. Now maybe we just focus a little bit on defense. Just, yeah, just a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of not dying, right? Like, I'm a fan of not having to just absolutely lose. Let's get, let's get a submarine. Submarines are really cool. Submarine, advanced intel, and then we can go ahead and get triple guns. There we go. Whoosh. I love submarines. Submarines are so good. And then we can also get shimmer. There we go. And now that we have shimmer, now we can pop. He's the only one that can pop lead balloons, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. This is at $5,000. So I guess what we can do is we can just save all up all of these so that way we can get money for the banana farm. I've been wanting to get a T6 banana farm for a while now. Just so like you get the banana farm and then we should be able to afford anything that we want, right? Actually, I'm going to make a, uh, a risky play here, guys. Well, okay, never mind. It's not really a risky play, but I'm going to do it anyways. Is instead of putting... I want to get like this T6 banana farm that's going to make us just tons and tons of money. And then once we get that, I want to see if we can like how much money we get and see what crazy things we can buy and like how quickly we can buy it after we get the first T6 banana farm, right? And see like, is a T6 banana farm like really worth it? Like, is it really going to escalate how much money we make? All right, let's go ahead and let's put down a couple more banks because right now it, it's just not enough to be able to make to get us to that that t5 because we need a hundred thousand dollars and a hundred thousand dollars is not cheap it costs about a hundred thousand dollars if i'm gonna do the math right all right this right here is now we're gonna make here where can we where do we want to put it i guess we'll put it right here because if we want to make a, like a ventral sun god if we want to try even i don't want it to be in the way so that that's gonna be our little guy right there so we're gonna go ahead and we gotta upgrade him there we go we have to get okay we can get rid of i guess i'll leave that banana farmer because well, he's going to be doing banana farm things anyway. But we need another banana farmer, guys. So we're going to just grab a banana farmer. And we're just going to throw him down. Here's here's our banana farmer. He's going to be... He's just going to chill right here. And all right. Greater... Okay, so we need banana research facility. And so we need about $120,000. That's really expensive. I just I, I just kind of realized like $120,000. That is That costs a lot of money. That's very expensive. And he, we're, we're fine, we're fine. That was a little bit annoying having to deal with, but it's it's okay. So we're gonna kind of hold on for a while. Uh, I don't like, I don't like how far these, these things are getting. They're getting too far, okay? We can go ahead and wait. Oh, we already got Shimmer? Okay, well, we're gonna get Necromancer because Necromancer is, well, I just realized kind of worthless because it makes the balloon spawn over here so that they're actually not gonna be very useful at all. I guess maybe a little bit useful once things start getting by, but the balloons only get to, like, right here. So, like, what's the point? That's such a waste. That feels like such a waste. That is so sad. That's okay. We're at $3,000. Here, let's go ahead and let's upgrade it to the upgrade it to the banana research facility. So now it's going to start making us even more money. So we need to get this to $108,000. We need $108,000. How's this looking on bank status? 7,000. We're at 40. Oh, that one's already maxed. Are they all maxed? Eh, they're kind of close. We're going to collect all just so that we can have a clean reset. We're at $50,000 now, and we can sell each one of these for $10,000. So, or we can sell two of them each because they cost, give us about 5,500 each. So that's 10,000, and that's 20,000. So we can get about 26, 27 ish thousand dollars. And since this only costs $108,000, we only need to get to what? Eighty, eighty-eight thousand dollars. If we can get to like eighty-eight thousand dollars or something like that, we're gonna be fine. And we're already at like sixty-six thousand, so we're fine. And then we're gonna have to wait for this guy to start getting us more bananas. And then I don't want to have any other banana farms. I want that to be our only source of income. No other banana farms are gonna be needed. Okay, none. I say. All right, that's gonna. Oh my gosh, that's only four thousand dollars. All right, we should be good now. We can sell. All right, sell, sell, sell and banana central okay so there's our we got banana central now so that's gonna start just making us big dot look at that that's starting to make us big dollars we need to get it to fifty thousand dollars which i don't think is gonna take that long honestly we need to worry about getting this guy upgraded though this guy is uh luckily that's gonna help out all right and we have a super strong banana farmer twenty four thousand dollars 
Wait, I totally forgot. We have Churchill. Why don't we just like put Churchill down? There we go. And then we can just like upgrade this guy. There we go. And he's just gonna like, I mean, it's Churchill. Churchill is super duper strong. Especially like on and this spot right here. He's just gonna be really strong. Look at him. He's already got 1,000 pops. What's this at? 36,000. What does this do again? Turbo damage laser bombs, guys. Obviously. How could you guys have forgotten about turbo damage laser bombs? Oh, well met, my fellow chaps. My name's Reginald, and I never leave anywhere without my uh, Tootie Bowtie shirt, which you can get for yourself in the description down below. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Cheerio, chaps. All right, we're at 45,000, guys. I am so excited to see this. 47,000, 49,000, and the Funky Farm. What? That's so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Let's sell this guy real fast. What happens? Look at this. Oh, it's like golden banana crates. We already have $100,000. Okay, let's get another banana farmer. I can't believe I sold that banana farmer. But we can here. We can put this banana farm. The Funky Farm, guys. It's the Funky Farm. Obviously, that's so cool. It doesn't say how much, how many bananas it makes for us, though. Let's see. So, let's see. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. How much money does it give? Let's see. 13000 every single time? That is... We already have $200,000. Oh, my goodness, guys. Let's start trying... Okay. Let's see if we can make, like... Let's make a true sun god temple. So, here. We'll put this guy right here. And then we can level it up. Oh, my gosh. We can already buy a sun temple. Okay. So, we need to go ahead and... Armor piercing, sub commander... Okay, let's get super range. So that was military. So let's get primary. So we need 50,000 for primary. So 50,000 for primary is going to be... I'm pretty sure this is going to be... That's 56,000, so that's primary. Military, that was... That's 25,000. Here, let's do... Let's do... What can we do for military? I guess we'll do like a helicopter. And then we can upgrade it to the bottom path. And that should be... Ooh. We, that'll be at least just be a guarantee. And then for magic, brewmaster is always just a, is just a solid choice. Wait, that's not a brewmaster. I was lied to. Here, archmage. Here, we can level this guy up. That's 64,000. Okay, that's like a guarantee. So now we can go ahead and we can upgrade him to the sun temple. All right, so there we go. We've already upgraded him to the sun temple at round 65. That's how much money that this T6 banana farm is giving us, guys. Okay, let's go ahead, and now we just basically do this whole thing over again. So, that's military, and now what is, uh, what's this one cost? No, military. What is, what's the best one for military? What's this? Apache is 40, that's still, that's like a little bit too expensive. Maybe a support, that's 32. That's gonna be enough, right? That might not be enough. That might, like, barely be not enough. I, I actually think it's fine. Yeah, because that and that mixed with that, there's no, yeah, 39,000. That's still, that'll be plenty. Okay, I'm, I'm just a little bit paranoid that I don't have enough, so I'm just going to put just like a little bit of money into it. Just a little bit. And now we need to go back to magic. Magic, you can go ahead and you can just use a brewmaster for magic. Brewmer brew is pretty good. And then we also need to make sure we get a support tower. We can put the support tower down and upgrade it. I don't know why I upgraded the middle path or the top path. I need to upgrade it on the middle path and not be a silly person. 43,000. There we go. And now we need to make sure that we have both Legend of the Night and the other guy outside of the range. Both of these guys. So this guy. And now, oh, we're finally out of money, guys. We're finally out of money. Look how much money is made. $700,000. Okay, this banana farm is definitely worth getting, guys. The T6 banana farm is definitely worth getting, okay? It's pretty good, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. I mean, it's 13000 every single time you do it. So is it like $100,000 around? No, that'd be way too much. How much is it? I don't know. It's a lot of money. Whatever it is, it's a lot of money. We need to get to $250,000. In order to get the Legend of the Night, we're already at $200,000. We're making so much monkey money right now. I don't know why I said monkey money. We're making money. The banana farm. I love how it's the funky farm. The funky farm, guys. Okay. Oh, there we go. We already have the money. We have the Legend of the Night now. So now we have to save up and get 540 
thousand dollars and that should upgrade us so can we get five hundred and forty thousand dollars in six rounds that seems like it'd be a little bit a, that seems a little bit crazy in order to get that much money i'm not entirely sure but it's definitely worth trying to do guys we're at eighty thousand dollars already and that's pretty sick why does this guy have such cringy names lightspeed ultra mega strike that's like power rangers i'm not i'm not hating on power rangers by the way i love power rangers as a kid but you guys know what i mean it's like power rangers i'm not gonna talk about it guys we're moving on to the next subject the next subject is why do i not have enough money yet okay the funky farm okay the funky farm is definitely not failing me because this has already made a million dollars and what's weird is i hey i leveled up on level 111 now very cool all right let's keep going i love the look of the funky farm guys okay the funky farm is awesome also, will I get enough money before round 80? I actually don't know. I want to believe that I will. Here, let's go ahead and let's get rid of everything that's not going to be a part of this. So we can sell you. We can sell you. Uh, we can sell you, sir. And I think that's all we're going to need. Uh, oh, it's worth $14,000. Okay, there we go, guys. So we're at $400,000. Are we going to get another $140,000 in two rounds? That seems a little bit crazy, you guys. I don't know if that's going to be possible, what we're going to see. I love how this support Chernook has done, like, all the work. Okay, never mind. It's still, like, the Sun God Temple. But we're not going to worry about that. $140,000. So, wait, $140,000. So, we need $100,000 in, like, the span of one round. I don't know if it's going to be possible, guys. It's going to be close. I mean, look at how much money this has brought in. $1.2 million. That's insanity absolute insanity oh there we go true sun god boom we got the true sun god before route 80 the venge we we got there we go it actually froze on the vengeful sun god temple look here we go to free play we actually got the vengeful sun god temple on hard by round 80 with zero cash drops zero cash drops and we were able to get it guys that is amazing the t6 banana farm guys is oh P, okay, look at that 1.3 million bananas and I even sold the one of the, the banana farmers So the funky town is way to go guys If you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications you guys are amazing I love you all and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content